My name is Brian Sauer, and I'm the Director of Training for U.S. Automatic Fire and Security. As a professional firefighter and former fire marshal, I understand the need to have a fire safe facility that is both safe for your business, your employees, and also is compliant with fire and safety code regulations. But that's difficult for a lot of building owners and facility managers to understand. What we're going to talk about today are seven factors that can burn your business and what you can do about them. The problem is directors, facility managers, and building owners cannot afford deficient inspections or code violations when dealing with fire protection and life safety. They certainly cannot afford to ignore them either. These issues left unresolved can result in lost productivity, time, money, and resources, and most importantly, the very real and potential threat of lost lives. Add to this the constant and numerous additions, changes, and updatings of the codes and ordinances, and keeping up with and trying to remain code compliant is close to impossible without some type of help. No director, facility manager, or building owner should have to shoulder this burden alone, but that's the reality for countless facilities. And should something happen, the director, facility manager, or building owner may ultimately have some responsibility for any loss as a result of noncompliance. Let's begin with factor one, calling for an inspection. I'm responsible for ensuring what? You do your work to ensure you're in compliance, and you have to also ensure the very same regulatory agency holding you in compliance is doing theirs too. And if you're a highly regulated occupancy, such as a nursing home or a school or a daycare facility, you may be responsible for compliance with numerous regulatory requirements and agencies such as your insurance company, local fire department, perhaps the state fire marshal, or the Indiana State Department of Health, or even other organizations such as the Joint Commission. Wouldn't it be something if your inspection contractor called you to schedule your inspection without you having to call them first? Wouldn't this simple action take your rating of your current inspection business to a 9 or a 10 on a 0 to 10 scale? Now, the second factor we're going to talk about is the issue of too much upselling and how to navigate the untruths versus the truths as far as requirements. Fire causes property damage and business interruption that ultimately can wipe out business profits. And you believe that along with having the right type of equipment installed, it is important to make sure the equipment is inspected, tested, and maintained as required to ensure it will perform at that critical moment. There's two documents that the Indiana Fire Code references for fire protection equipment. NFPA 13 is the installation standard for installation of fire sprinkler systems. NFPA 25 is the inspection, testing, and maintenance standard for fire sprinkler systems. But what are the requirements of NFPA 25? Do you know? Is what you are being told a requirement, which is a code deficiency that must be fixed, or is it simply a recommendation or a best practice to improve the operation of your system? Your inspector may talk to you about compliance issues associated with the installation of your system. Did you know that inspectors are supposed to assume that the system was designed and installed correctly in accordance with the code that was in effect at the time your building was built? These recommendations are outside the scope of NFPA 25 and may or may not be considered actual code deficiencies that require correction. It's beneficial to protect yourself and your business by understanding the basics of fire and life safety inspections in order to avoid being upsold. If you haven't done your homework, it won't be hard for the inspector to leverage his or her expertise against you to boost his company's revenue. Knowledge of these basics can help reduce your overhead expenses. Let's say, for example, your inspector noted on the inspection report that you need to replace all of your sprinkler system gauges. How do you know whether or not those gauges need to be replaced or if your inspector is just trying to upsell you? It's a common misnomer that sprinkler gauges need to be replaced every five years. When in actuality, NFPA 25 simply requires that gauges be tested every five years. And as long as those gauges are functioning properly, they do not need to be replaced. 
Will your inspector tell you the difference between what the code requires and what's actually a recommendation? The third factor we're going to talk about is the cost of non-compliance. And this is one that a lot of people don't think about, and that's business interruption costs. You might have heard of business interruption insurance, a form of insurance that addresses the losses in revenue you might experience because of a stop or slowdown in business operations due to extensive property damage. You may not, however, have considered the business interruption costs that occur when you don't have the proper systems in place or up to code. This isn't just about code compliance, but also insurance underwriter requirements, such as ISO ratings. Insurance underwriters can view a sprinklered property as unprotected, especially if certain tripwires exist. If your commercial properties are found in non-compliance, the cost to get them in compliance, plus any cost incurred due to business interruption, must be considered. Add those costs to any adjustments that might be made to your insurance premiums based on the condition of your property and non-compliance, and you can quickly find yourself in an unenviable position. Bring in the experts who can not only perform all the inspections needed, but who can also outline what exact code deficiencies you may have. Your inspection company should educate you on a course of action to align your facility with the correct codes and assist in developing cost of ownership realities over the long term. The costs of remaining in compliance with NFPA 25 are small in comparison to the business interruption costs of relocating personnel or businesses if your facility is shut down as a result of non-compliance. The fourth factor we're going to discuss is recommendations versus deficiencies. There are some low information providers out there pushing service contracts based on items that are perceived to be in non-compliance. Compliance is a loaded word. It's loaded by the very weight of its exact opposite, non-compliance, and by the potential way it could burn your business should disaster strike or your facility be found in non-compliance. In order to avoid a potential citation, you most likely will approve any and all service items and suggestions made by your service provider, even if you have doubts about whether all of the services are required. Low information providers may or may not know exactly what the code requirements are in the local area and will still attempt to push you to sign off on additional services that may not be required by code. For example, you may meet the minimum number of fire extinguishers required to protect your commercial property, but your service provider will tell you that you need X number of additional extinguishers to provide more suitable protection. Don't be taken advantage of, be informed. Being informed begins with having the right inspection company in place to advise you on the complexities of the code cycles. Knowing and trusting your provider to supply accurate findings should be priority number one. It's all about establishing long-lasting relationships that are based around delivering real value and outlining costs of ownership to you as a business owner. The proprietary fire alarm equipment myth. Who is allowed to do what? That's the fifth factor we're going to discuss. The total cost of ownership and maintenance of your facility has unnecessarily increased as a result of the proprietary equipment myth. And that myth is, if company X installs your fire alarm system, then only company X can service it. The truth is when an equipment distributor or contractor distributes parts or systems, any other service provider can install or provide inspection and testing services to the system over its lifetime. Fire alarm distributors do not want you to know this because they want to keep your business and keep you returning to them to service and maintain the equipment they've sold you and avoid competitive bidding. The truth is you can go to the service provider of your choice and you should not have to be stuck in the proprietary equipment myth. So shop around before you buy and don't feel obligated to have the distributor install the part or system you purchase. New installation costs are high, and you should choose which service provider you want to use based on the qualities that you value. 
the solution must have total cost of ownership language. Factor six, choosing providers. Gain maximal results with minimal interruptions. Finding an inspection company with the highest qualified technicians, the best price, and the best selection of equipment is another challenge you as a building owner, director, or facility manager have to face. Fire and building codes require that automatic detection, suppression, and notification systems work in unison to provide maximum life safety protection. These systems must be properly inspected, tested, and maintained to ensure they are ready to respond with a zero failure tolerance. You may have a specific contractor specializing in sprinkler systems and another specializing in fire alarm systems and a third company providing your monitoring services. But why have two to three different companies or technicians serving your equipment when you could call one company to do it all? U.S. Automatic Fire and Security is the complete fire and life safety package. As a full service provider, we can send a technician out to service all of your needs at one time, rather than creating separate visits and business interruptions. Factor seven, the ultimate responsibility, losses your insurance will not cover. Ownership or management of your facility comes with its fair share of economic conflicts. And when it comes to fire and life safety, you are responsible or may share responsibility. The bottom line is inspection, testing, and maintenance responsibilities compete with other required and unexpected facility maintenance needs. One thing you must not do is decide against testing and maintaining fire and life safety systems as a way to cut costs. The cost saved from not inspecting, testing, and maintaining your fire and life safety systems will never make up for the potential loss of life or destruction of property. Fires can destroy your business. Can you accept the responsibility of knowing that you could have taken measures to lessen or prevent the losses and chose not to? Negligence comes with serious consequences. As a business owner, the best thing you can do is stop knocking on wood hoping disaster doesn't strike. Pick up the phone and reach out to a service provider who can help you protect your company, staff, and occupants. It all starts with a basic inspection. So we've reviewed seven factors that can burn your business. Issues that you as a business owner or facility manager have to deal with relevant to inspection, testing, and maintenance of your fire protection systems. So what is the solution? Well, at U.S. Automatic Fire and Security, our technicians are extensively trained to understand the complex and detailed requirements of the various local, state, and federal code enforcement agencies. We intimately understand our clients' stressors, fears, and day-to-day -day worries. There is a tremendous pressure being responsible for so many lives with literally no room for failure. Ultimately, U.S. Automatic Fire and Security through our inspection, testing, and maintenance services, is passionately dedicated to saving lives and providing total peace of mind. You don't have to wait for the moment of truth when lives and property are at stake. Appreciate the value of your fire protection system every day by experiencing a greater peace of mind that only we can offer. With U.S. Automatic Fire and Security, you can optimize your loss control, meet your regulatory requirements, recognize and respond to trouble conditions associated with your specific systems, and ultimately minimize your total cost of ownership. So now for the difficult question you need to ask yourself. Do you or your current service provider fully understand the code cycles in your area? When was your facility built? Do you know what code was in effect at that time? And how does that compare to the current version of NFPA 13 as it relates to sprinkler installation or NFPA 72 for installation of fire alarms and inspection of fire alarms and NFPA 25 for inspections and other water-based fire protection systems? Knowledge is power. Being able to understand and answer these questions is the best way to protect your assets and control fire and life safety costs. 
So when was your last inspection? It's never too late to find out if you're at risk. With the proper education, training, and regular inspections, you will be able to save your business, profits, and lives. Sign up for a free evaluation of your existing system today and avoid the burn of your business.